As we walk up to the front door and you see all these newspapers, this is a house that Holton Wise didn't actually manage. Uh, this is one that the landlord is having issues with. Very curious as to how the mattresses ended up outside. I don't know if it was a nice day and the tenant decided to sleep outside, do a little camping trip in his driveway, but who knows. You guys had this happen here before? Uh, not at this building, I don't think. What, people dying? Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. me and my partner don't go inside because we got to make some calls. Okay. Looks like this is where the majority of the stuff is down here in the basement. There's a lot of stuff in this corner right here. I don't know what be going on in the kitchen, yo. What up? But what happened to the ceiling, dog? Where's the ceiling at? Take a last good breath, man. It's gonna stink. You ever smell that before? Yep. It's really bad. Uh, I guess we're just gonna check to see how the door is. As you can see, we got our film crew walking up right now to a house that had a recent eviction. Uh, the tenant was forced to leave. This is everything fucked. What are these pots and pans? This dude told me he couldn't turn in keys because he got injured while cleaning. I don't know if you know what the word cleaning means, but this ain't it. Very curious as to how the mattresses ended up outside. I don't know if it was a nice day and the tenant decided to sleep outside, do a little camping trip in his driveway, but who knows. It's a very cold winter day as we approach this rental property. You can also notice on the side of the house, you got one window that was boarded up. As we walk up to the front door and you see all these newspapers, this is a house that Holton Wise didn't actually manage. Uh, this is one that the landlord is having issues with. majority of the time properties don't end up like this, but you have to be aware as an investor this can happen. As we walk in, one thing you're going to notice about this house is that it's not actually not that full, but it's pretty dirty. The walls are grimy and it probably has a foul odor to it. Ooh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Every house we rent out, before we start showing it to initial tenants, typically that includes fresh paint, newer finished floors, and uh, it's overall very, very clean. Is there upstairs? Yep. So we had to go in and film it and see what we could do to reposition this property for them. Honestly, looking at those first impressions, this isn't bad at all. I mean, it's just normal wear and tear. Well, I guess I spoke a little too soon earlier because it looks like the I caught a glimpse of the kitchen. Uh, we'll probably see that later, but it looks like that was missing. And then uh, part of this room, it seems like the ceiling is missing as well. You can see it all over the floor. 
As we walk into the bathroom, you can see the ceiling is all over the vanity and the bathroom floor. I wonder if we're going to get a good look. Oh, yep. Looks like you can see the light is hanging down, too. This is, uh, I wonder what happened to the ceiling. It's kind of interesting. You, normally, that doesn't happen. I don't know if you're going on in the kitchen, yo. What up? But what happened to the ceiling, dog? Where is the ceiling at? Oh, as you can see, this is where the mattress was originally before it ended up outside. As you can see, we got some newer vinyl windows in this rental. I uh, haven't seen any broken ones yet. This one looks a little grimy though. Probably never cleaned since this tenant moved in. I don't know how long the tenant was here, but I don't think they cleaned these windows once. Oh, I guess they spoke too soon earlier because here's the first broken window. It's not even, the window's not even just broken. It's out of the framing of the window itself. Oh, these stairs. Holy smokes. Now, well, I'm his sister. Will I be able to get that piece to put that in? Where's the mice at, dude? Right? Well, they're around. Fucking carpets tore up to shit. Like... Dude, were people walking on this shit barefoot? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's another bathroom over there, too. Surprisingly, those two dressers actually look pretty nice. I mean, those are the cleanest thing in the whole house. I don't know if those got there after he moved out or he just never touched them or used them because they look very clean and very new. I wonder if every toilet seat is left up as well. I haven't seen the inside of any toilets, but I'm sure the inside of this is not looking very good. James talks about grime in some of these houses. This is literally the definition of it. As we walk through, you can see these walls are just covered in it. And then the worst thing is this back door. The whole, it was originally white, now it's like half black. And uh, I'm glad I don't have to touch that doorknob. I don't even want to touch the fucking yeah. doorknob. There's one over there to go back to the gloves for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that one was Check out the basement. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go over here. Come back to my nose. Shattered. Walking upstairs, you can see this carpet is certainly in a lot better shape than the previous house. Uh, not perfect. I don't know if it'll be, have to be replaced or not, but it's not anywhere close to that last house. So far, everything up here doesn't look terrible. I mean, it just needs some uh, cleaning, some sprucing up, maybe a little bit of holes here and there need to be patched up that we can't see. And up, oh, I spoke too soon. Looks like the ceiling's gone in this one, too. You can see it all over the floor. What is with these people? They just hate ceilings, I guess. Man, another ceiling, as you can see in this room. I would have personally taken out the wall instead of the ceiling. I don't know. The white ceiling didn't wasn't what was bugging me. It was more of the yellow walls. That would have gotten in my head a little more. And don't worry, we saved the best for last. I wonder what's going on in the basement. Looks like this is where the majority of the stuff is down here in the basement. There's a lot of stuff in this corner right here.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.